This small Mexican salamander is called the axolotl. The axolotl is an amphibian, which is also known as the water monster by the local people in Mexico, the only location in the world where the axolotl lives. Its name originates with the Aztecs, who saw the axolotl as a deity-like creature due to its strange appearance and incredible ability to regenerate various parts of its body. The axolotl was named after the god Zolotl. In Aztec mythology, when all the gods were sacrificing themselves to build the sun, Zolotl refused to sacrifice himself to the fire. He was sentenced to be killed, so he fled, taking the form of an axolotl and hiding in a lake in order to avoid being captured and killed. The legend states that in order to survive, the axolotl was forced to stay in the small lakes and waterways of Mexico. That is the only ecosystem where the amphibian lives today. Axolotls, when fully mature, can range from 15 to 45 centimeters, or 6 to 16 inches. They have wide faces and beady eyes that lack eyelids. Their mouths contain small teeth that they rarely use. In order to catch their prey, the axolotls instead use suction to pull small fish and other aquatic creatures into their mouths. The axolotl is carnivorous, feeding off creatures like worms, insects, and other small fish. They have short limbs with underdeveloped digits, as well as six long gills that extend off of their head. They use their gills to move the fresh water that they need to survive. The axolotl possesses some great genetic abilities. The amphibian has the capacity to grow into adulthood without undergoing metamorphosis. That means that it lives its life in an eternal adolescent stage. Also, it can regenerate limbs and organs, even parts of its own heart and brain, which makes it a valuable case study for scientists all over the world. If we lose this species, scientists will lose out on a chance to use the information to potentially improve the health and well-being of people. The axolotl can come in many colors due to their four pigmentation genes. The normal wild axolotls are olive brown with gold speckles, the mutated ones can be pale pink with black eyes, grey with black eyes, black with black eyes, and finally the albino type which are golden with gold eyes. The axolotl inhabits water channels and lakes located in central Mexico. The only lakes it lives in are Lake Zocamilco and Lake Chalco. Unfortunately for the axolotl, there have been many detrimental events that have negatively impacted their habitats. Mexico City is a huge expanding city and urban sprawl has destroyed much of their natural habitat. As well as Lake Chalco was artificially drained to prevent flooding and increase land use. This further destroyed much of the natural habitat where the axolotl lived. As well as Lake Zocamilco is very heavily polluted due to tons of waste and litter. This unique area contains the last remnants of the system of lakes and canals upon which the Aztec capital thrived. But Zocamilco is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site at risk of being swallowed by massive urbanization and pollution in this sprawling capital of 22 million people. For years, the lakes around Mexico City have been used to dump garbage and sewage, which polluted the only homes the axolotl had. On top of that, another reason the axolotl is so threatened is that in the 1980s, the Mexican government introduced a new species into the waterways to help provide food source for the poor people outside Mexico City. Unfortunately for the axolotls, they became easy prey for these new species. In 2006, the axolotl was deemed critically endangered by IUCN, the International Union of Conservation for Nature. A recent study from the National Autonomous University of Mexico showed that in 1998, there were 6,000 axolotls per square kilometer in Zocamilco. By 2008, that figure had plummeted to 100. In 2014, researchers found less than one axolotl per square kilometer in Lake Zocamilco. There is no question that this little creature is in critical danger of being wiped out. Luckily, there are organizations doing what they can to save the axolotl and return it to the wild in order to flourish. Lake Zocamilco is very polluted, and in order to save the axolotl, the best thing would be to try and halt and even better reverse the destruction of the axolotl's habitat. 
We can all help the axolotl by keeping our waterways clean, simply by throwing our garbage in the garbage bins and recycling in the proper recycling bins. Think about how much cleaner the environment would be if people in all nations did that as well. If you like, you can also help by donating to websites online. There are websites online that can be found where people can make donations. The money from these groups are dedicated to help saving the axolotls and repopulating them, as well as cleaning their habitat. Moving forward, individual people can make a difference. However, the axolotl may also need help in the form of government changes. The Mexican government will need to stop destroying the ecosystem where this special amphibian lives. We can all help to persuade the government by taking action and signing many online petitions that have been set up to help the axolotl. Hopefully, with enough public outcry, the government will reconsider some of its dangerous policies and realize that it has the power to help preserve the ecosystems and biodiversity of all species. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, we can all take action to save the axolotl from going extinct and keep this strange and beautiful amphibian alive in its home.